Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Bounce run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with the Reaper trying to use the new um, subclass, the ocean subclass I would say, let's go with the garlic, let's go with the piggy bank for the money, let's roll into something better than that. I found a good old banana early game and I found a potion, we're gonna buy any and every potion we find because as I said I'm gonna try to use the new poison uh not poison potion subclass so let's see how this is gonna go we're gonna be a defensive build until we get to the build going now here i hope to survive i would say classic case scenario until they die from poisoning they're at two poison right now i need to bring them i would say to at least five to have some kind of chance here four poison is nice we're dying they're about to hit their attack oh they destroyed us they destroyed us. They had an axe. I mean, fair enough. And we found a good old other bag. And we also found a flying agaric. Do I want a flying agaric? For now, I'm gonna just get a pan to get those early wins. That's how we're gonna play this. And now I try to search for poison. Or inventory space for that matter. You know what? Button buckler early would be nice. Especially because it's cheap. Might as well buy some really cheap stuff. And this is the exact same build as we are. With the difference being they're not min max. And I could have min maxed a bit better. But they're definitely worse than us. Also, I have a potion, so that... The, the fact that I have a potion alone is a free win. And the fact that they have not been maxed is even more of a free win, but just saying. Very nice, we got the win here. And we found the Thorn Whip, which is the weapon of choice. Very nice, as I'm gonna go with a uh, blade... Uh, what is it called? The, not Falcon Blade. The... Um, I don't remember what it's called. The Blood Thorn. I remembered. Uh, let's fit these in, right? Let's let's fit this in as as little as possible inside the poison zone, so that the rest of the things can actually literally fit normally. So we already have done a reorganized time here. Perfect. Everything is min maxed. Let's go. Do I want this wooden buckler? You know what? I'm gonna buy it in case I don't find anything better. <laughs> That's how we're gonna play this. Okay, so this Thorn Whip is gonna start scaling us spikes, and we do one more damage for each spike we have. Also, the opponents take more damage for each spike we have. Now, this guy has only bows, so he's not gonna die from spikes. I'm doing more damage every time I get more spikes. I just drank a potion. We also have the poison to help us out. They should start losing life. I missed. 12 damage there on the smack. They have also a bunch of spikes. It was a race, but the poison obviously took over. Very nice. Okay, let's buy that for their room. Roll them. And we found inventory. Nice. I don't want that. I don't want this either. I want potions. And we found one. It doesn't matter what the potion is. I just want potions. They're gonna all level up in due time. I'm gonna all power up. And I also want the vampire blade now so that I can get the bloodthorn, of course. Now, the bloodthorn in the general cares about you having regen, but I don't care about that at all. Uh, we will find regen through the potions, and even if I don't find regen through the potions, the weapon is still better. We're gonna get spikes and vampirism and regen. Like, there are potions that fill all these slots. Nope, we're losing here. Let's go. Uh, we found an energy, and we found another health potion. Let's go for that. And also the armor potion, of course. Uh, roll them once. And I found a sail item, but I don't think I need to do that. Let's go. Is this man max? I think it's decent. Uh, we have Wooden Buckler, they also have a Spiked Shield. They have five weapons, so if I get like three to four spikes, we should win from the spikes alone. Okay, at this point I have three spikes and they have five weapons, so we should win. <laughs> and Poison, of course. Arfen, we won. Nice. I'm down to three health, by the way. Nope, we found a Ripsaw Blade, which is the other best in slot, I would say. How much do you need if you have at least 45? Okay, then we're gonna go like this. So these two fire this and this fires twice. Uh, I could also go spikes on the wooden buckler. Yeah, actually there is no real downside for doing that. So let's get the spike shield. I want the ripsaw blade. I want a um, thorn whip. We got that. Nice. Roll one more time. And do I care about mana? I would assume yes, but I think no. No, I don't think we need mana. Wait, do I I want the gloves or face though for the vampirism idea? Yeah, that's definitely something we want. <laughs> the vampire idea going on. The vampirism blade. Okay, smack him. I will try to be a burst build, by the way, just to be clear. Well, we're dying. We got bursted down. They are bursting us. We have the spikes here helping us, and 80 shielding is a lot. That's why this whole lineup was up there. And now they need to get through my six spikes and shielding. They're gonna die on their own from the spikes. I think the spikes did more damage than what the whip did. 
Let's cross-reference that with reality. Yep, Spikes at 60, Thorn Whip did 62. Same thing. Whoop, we got a nice room. Nice, got Spikes through Spike Shield, so 35% chance to prevent 4 damage and take a bit of free, uh, a bit of stamina away and also give us 3 Spikes. Let's go here, then let's go here, and I would say attack speed. Nice. Attack speed should be hitting... I mean, I would like the attack speed to also be hitting something secondary. It's a bit hard to line up. Maybe if I put it here. Yeah, that's actually better. It's not specifically better. But it gives attack speed to do things. One of them being the banana. Also, I would like these to line up. That's something like this. Everything's gonna fire upward anyway. Uh, let's go. Random buffs. This helps. This is gonna give me vampirism if I have a low vampirism and regen if I have a low regen. This is gonna literally give me the buffs I want. Let's go with this. This is literally gonna give me the buffs I want. <laughs> Whenever it triggers, that is. Let's go. An early world contagor is really powerful in general. We've got my three spikes. We're losing the poison fight, by the way. We're winning the damage with weapon fight. Uh, we're losing the fight. Ah, whoa, we drank our potions. And now they're dying from poison and a smack. Nice. The potion here is seems dangerous, but is very powerful. And now we're gonna go with Cauldron. Every five seconds, heal for ten or gain three reg um, mana, which is useless for us, or gain two heat, which is always useful. And then trigger 15% faster for each food or potion around. The above effect triggers faster. And when I enter the shop, upgrade an adjacent potion. That final line is what I why I took this. Why I'm going for potions. Somewhere here is the where I throw away the spiky shield. Um, you join. You also join. Do I need a corrupted crystal? I don't think I need the corrupted crystal. I definitely want this though. And I want another potion. So the first potion that should level up should be those stone skin potions, honestly. That's a correct decision there. Um, also, I would like this to be inside the zone. Yeah, you go here. You go like this. Done, we fit everything, very nice. And we will buy this, and maybe this. I mean, the Wolf Pentagra is mainly useful for... And we're gonna go later on the Wolf Pentagra. I need to get my Vampire Blade first. If I don't find my Vampire Blade, nothing really makes sense. And they should destroy us. This is one of those builds that should definitely destroy us. So this potion is not in a good spot at all. But it's okay. We need also to find my potion belts. Uh, they should destroy us because they take buffs away, and they get regen. Aho. We're losing here, guaranteed. They have 10 regen, we have nothing. I'm gaining my spikes slowly, they took away my heat. Oh, we got heat back, and they're gone again. And somewhere around here is where we lose, yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. On inventory space, nice. Got a strong stone skin potion. So this used to be 20, uh, 3D shielding. Now it is 3D5 shielding and 2 spikes. That's it, pretty much. Uh, we're gonna go here and here. And Wollum, I don't want... I want Vampire Blade right now. A potion... Po a poison potion is here. Uh, these are not perfectly lined up. They're not even remotely close to perfectly lined up. Also, this should be like that. Uh, if they're not gonna be lined up, shouldn't I have them... Around this thing? Yeah, at least now this has almost min-max value. Uh, I don't want it. I want it here on the throne constant portion. Mistake. Nice. Uh, do I want the pestilence flask? Not really. I want healing potions, stone skin potions, and vampire potions, which I haven't found yet one. And I also would like to have divine potions, of course. Let's get attack speed and put it on this thing. Push everything one to the right. Uh, is this attack speed gonna fit? Uh, this way it is gonna fit. Once again, ah, these are not good lined up. Yeah, they're not. Now they're better lined up. They could be even better lined up if they were here. Can I push these to the right? I don't think so. No, I cannot really. Not right now, at least. Uh, once again, give me the stone skin potion, and let's go on. And I will, I'm gonna get the cleanse debuffs potion next. Let's see how this goes. I still need my vampire blade. If I don't find my vampire blade, we're very, very weak. Am I recording? Yes, I am. So we got my spikes. At half health, we trigger everything, by the way. These two trigger those ones, and then this triggers that. 
And we just triggered everything at half health. Nice. And we have so many spikes that we're gonna lose. Nice. By the way, we're gonna lose against most fire builds because they're gonna eat my spikes away. Boom, got another stone skin, stone skin potion. I think I should continue with the stone skin over the region. And I would like another stone skin here. So that's nice. A region comes next. Inventory maybe. Inventory maybe. Nice. And I found the, the blade I want. Uh, I will buy the blade I want first. It goes here. And you go here. So these two fire and then that fires. This doesn't really fit right now. This is gonna get bought next. These two are both gonna bought next. And these are gonna now combine. And then I will have the weapon of choice. And I'm just waiting for a vampire. The oh, rips of blade. We lose. <laughs> We lose this fight, for sure. Good thing we got my vamp vampirism, vampirism, vampirism. This should be a guaranteed loss. Uh, they also have Mr. Struggles, not even connected anywhere. What is this? We're gonna lose against a character that did not min-max the placements on anything. Not that I can do anything about that. We are already fatigued 13 and 12. Fatigue can only kill us here, it's not gonna save us. Yep, we're loose. But enough down to two life, and now it's an actual shift video because without two lives, it wouldn't be a shift video. Strong healing potion is now here. So the strong heal. Uh, I would like to get the stone skins. Yep. This is still not min maxed. It should be here. Yeah, this should be here, and the potion should be below, like that, and like this, and here one two. Yep. Here you go. Uh, boom. How will I fit? One goes here, and I guess these go here or something. These are very hard to manage the way the game wants me to. I guess the game hopes you have food. Are you supposed to use these? Ah, I guess this way. Nope, still not really possible. Ah, you know what? I need room to the left and to the right. Now I realize what I'm supposed to do. I think I need to reorganize time. You know, I have to have the potions like this. Like, I normally stack them up. And then, like, you go here. These actually do go here. And then the rest ones should go like this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So, uh, let me reorganize just a smidge. With these to fit in the correct way. Let's also buy this. Let me actually see if I can find inventory. Okay, now we're gonna do that. Do I need the anti-poison, anti-debuff? Maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's do it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we did actually organize these in a way where I'm satisfied at least. Uh, maybe let's make this. I, I min-maxed a bit less the poison amount we're doing, but it's okay. So the idea is that all of these fire upwards and this thing is uh, pretty f fast. <laughs> Supposedly this is very fast. Um, either healing us for 10, which is the best case scenario, or giving us 2 heat, which is the second best, and then once in a while also giving us 3 mana, which is useless for us. And let's go. And now we should also be gaining some regen, because now I have this popping for regen. This is a fire build. We should beat this as long as I gain enough spikes. Which, that's it. I have 3 spikes. It's over. But the moment I hit half health, all of these are gonna fire. I need some kind of way of firing the potions, making the potions fire the potions. We have an early game issue. And we got my first regen, very nice. And everything popped now, and I got my regen up, therefore we get vampirism. These start firing faster. How much cooldown does this have? 2.31 seconds, that's nice. I'm slowly healing my health back up, and they're gone. And they are gone. Very nice. Boom, got another stone skin potion. I'm gonna continue leveling these up. Uh, I would like to get stone skin mostly. Nice, and buy another one of these. And do I want another divine to get rid of debuffs? I would say yeah, it's until we find an ice opponent that's gonna destroy us when then then we're gonna cry about the fact that I didn't have it. Another vampire blade, not really. Nice, even more energy. Uh and we also found spike and healing. Spike gain and healing. I mean I think spike gain and healing is a good idea in general. You know what? I need to find the backpack, the potion backpacks, to put them here and here and here and here. Like, I need four potion backpacks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pretty much done. I don't even need energy anymore. Because four potion backpacks are gonna be eight slots. Eight, no, actually 16 slots. Yeah, we need, like, a lot of backpacks now. Because all of those give you random buffs. And then I would like to get a bullpen tiger to put in this corner, and then we're pretty much done. So once again, we mainly play for the half-life mark, like fatigue and whatnot. We are healing 10 once in a while. And we just hope for the best. And we just hope for the best. You know what I could actually fit? A staff upon healing, but I have energy issues. No, staff on healing does not fit. And here we go with 600 shielding. 
The only way we lose with this stupid build we have right now is if the opponent has a piercing life build. We're about to die, actually. Uh, it's a race. Wow. Almost lost. This is not a good build. <laughs> nice. Got my stone skin potion here. Uh, I, I could go for a dark saber. And yeah, now we're going for the healing potions. Roll them. On the attack speed. That's always nice. And mana orb. Is the mana orb needed? I'm not using mana. I would say we go with attack speed here. This should go here. And the energy should go boom and boom and boom. And you go down the corner and you can go wherever land. Here. Roll them. Found the vampire for the vampire glove. And prism for the vampirism glove. And I found another flask. Do I need this? I don't have a poison build really. We found the one thing I wanted this whole time. A good old Wolpen Tiger. So forget the potion backpack. We're going now with the Wolpen Tiger play. The Wolpen Tiger. Uh, you know what? I'm also going to go with Glowing Crown. Removing Blind and also becoming vulnerable really fits this build. It's a wannabe poison build. I'm going to zoom here. We're going to lose. Actually, we're not going to lose because we are a spike build. They're going to die on their own. Yep. We are popping potions, and now I have 21 spikes, and they're gonna die within until the spikes are gone. They're gone already. Yep, easy enough. Easy enough. By the way, we get all these spikes because of all these stone skin potions we have. That's exactly why I wanted the stone skin potion first. For those couple of seconds that we have, all those milliards of spikes, here we go. Like, for these couple of seconds, this thing is doing 29 to 33 damage. And it's only gonna get better. Okay. Uh, here I could fix the get an energy potion. I don't think I need it though. Wait, we're gonna buy this boy. The god build. We're gonna still buy this and this later. Let's go. So we're gonna get 10 energy from 10 mana from Cauldron and Wolpen Tiger. Okay, so the Wolpen Tiger is most likely gonna be giving us regen. Because this gives us heat and mana as we gain spikes anyway. So the Wolf and Tiger, when it triggers, it's gonna be Empower and Regen. And Regen is becoming Spikes and Vampirism through our weapon. Yeah, two Regen. You see? Boom and boom. And now we've got Spikes and Vampirism. And we haven't even popped our potions yet, so we're not losing this one. I still have not popped my potions yet. And boom, just popped my potions. And the opponent is not gonna be able to handle this. We have too much Spikes and too much everything at the end. Nice. So let's look at the damage. Here we go, 326. And the Spikes at 165, of course. And here at the very end, with all the buffs and whatnot, this was doing 49 to 53. So, um, just to make clear what exactly the build is doing as of this very moment. Uh, let's give me this too. So, uh, the Wolpen Tiger gives you, every 5 seconds, gives you the 3 buffs you have the least of. Right? Uh, this thing is giving us, has a chance to give us 3 mana or 2 heat. So that's that. Uh, those are those 2 buffs already covered. Uh, and this thing... Uh, on hit uses one regen to give us vampirism and spikes so we have all the buffs other than empower which the wolf is gonna give us and empower is a good buff to get for free and after we also get two or three empower the wolf and is always gonna give us regen and that regen is gonna transform into a spikes and vampirism again and this thing gets more damage based on how many spikes and vampirism we have fun attack speed very nice uh found another super cleansing potion i'm pretty much running out of potions to level up so I'm gonna continue with it. I mean, these never trigger, by the way. I want more stone skin and healing is what I actually care about. I don't really care about the divine. Let's get the divine, though, just in case. Just in case. And just like that, the divine is gonna be needed. And they also have a strong vampiric. That's what I actually want, a strong vampiric potion. That's what I care about the most. Now, this guy does not have a blood thorn. And I don't think this line of potions is even gonna ever pop. What is this? Used... Or help blow ups below half. Yeah, these, what is this? Strong Divine. Okay, now we saw a Strong Divine for the first time. I have 20 poison. That means the Divines are popping. And now we're going to be winning because we have so many spikes in regen here. They're gone. They're gone. My Vampire Blade's too strong. I haven't even popped a single one of my Stone Skins. They never brought us to half life to pop my Stone Skins. This is insane. This had 3d9 to 3d8 damage. They did nothing to us. They did nothing at all. I'm winning with the, po with the potion build. With a whatever potion build, by the way, not just that just potion build. Here you go. So let's see what the divine potion does. Strong divine. If you have at least 20 debuffs, consume this and cleanse 12 debuffs and gain 4 random buffs. Okay. Uh, at least it does something, I guess. I don't want another one, though. 
And we found a potion belt. I would say it should go here. Or here for that matter. It should go here to be honest. Go here. Now this goes here. Now you can go here. And let me actually do like a mini reorganize time. Okay, we're pretty much done. Uh, let's go on. And we found another healing potion. Very nice. I don't care about the strong whatever potion there. Uh, let's have this. I would say here at the very top. So when these pop. No, 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 no. I think this is better. When these pop, they're also gonna pop the strong healing potion twice. I want these stupid potions last. I think they are the worst potions we have. Uh, let's roll them, I would say. Nice, found a nice inventory slot. Fixing. You know, we're gonna go here and here. So this gets attack speed and this gets attack speed. Because this is a cleansing buff. And I think we're ready to go. Is the garlic with attack speed better than the flying agaric? Let's do this so we have a bit more potion. I do enjoy what we have going on. I do enjoy this build. This is a very clean and simple build. And this should destroy us. Let's see. They have so many buffs. Uh, we have anti debuffs, but... Yeah, we already lost all our shield. Oh, no, we haven't gotten shielding yet. Wait, wait a minute. We haven't gotten to half health. Now we start popping things. Oh, no. Oh, no. This, oh, no. This did not work out like we hoped to. You know what happened? These did not come together. Yeah, because this here uh, heals us for 18, and this does 15 damage to us. The idea being that we want to pop two of these at the same time, but that did not happen this time. That's why we lost. Oof. Very oof. Wait, how will I make sure that I'm going to pop the stone skins in time correctly? Because if this heals us instead of damaging, that's the issue there. I need to make sure we don't have healings lined up with each other. I need the healings to both pop here. When this pops, it hits there. Actually, it hits here when it pops. This is the most useless potion we have. Um, roll them, um, I would say. I don't think we get enough mana to... I would say one more potions. The mana class. No, we're gonna go here. I have two more runs to survive. I could go with Gin Lamp, by the way. I am gaining luck. I am gaining spikes and mana. And this is giving these stats. And then if I ever get a shield, it's gonna give the weapon plus percent. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And you can go up here buffing each other. We found another Glove of Haste. Not really that relevant. We found Crafted Crystal, though. Also not really relevant. But Mana Orb is relevant now. Because we do have the glowing crown. Let's go and hope for the best. This should work out this time, hopefully. I wanted to be the dragon, man. Okay, this guy has a bit of a higher duration on that. Let's see how this is gonna go. I need the Vulpen Tiger to start giving us regen. That's the main thing we need to get going on. And we got regen. More spikes, more vampirism. Haven't lost life yet. I start drinking shum potions. And here everything popped. Very nice. That was a good roll. I got so much re regen here, I'm making everything into average. Oh, we took too much damage. Oh no! 124! 124 there at the end. What is magic staff? This thing, 56 to 58 damage. Okay. Okay, I started believing my build is not really that good. <laughs> hey, look, I got a second same blade like the one I have. <laughs> I guess mana regen is gonna somehow save us with the glowing crown. Somehow something, something. This attack speed might as well go to the banana, I guess. Mana gain and luck gain might as well. And one last stone skin potion. You know what? Let's send the stamina off. This is the final fight anyway. I'm gonna say you go here, send this off. Should not have sent the stamina, by the way. We're done, right? Mm, between these traces, I guess we're gonna go with a 70% chance to deal one damage. <laughs> Let's go, and let's hope for the best, and let's hope for the best. I would like these two. Uh, yeah, when these pop, they're gonna all pop at the same time. Yeah, I think we're good here. I want the healing to pop twice and thrice. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go and hope for the best. This can also flip just to be more pretty. And let's see how well this is gonna go. Oh, this is a crit build. 
So my potions are gonna pop. They have a million buffs. We should lose this. We should lose this. Is my actual opinion on what should happen here? Yep. Let's see. One more hit and we're gonna pop literally everything. We became immune. Okay, so we got the mana up. We just popped everything. Can this here do this thing? I don't have enough sp uh, luck. Come on, give me one more luck. One more luck, one more luck, one more luck, one more luck. One more luck. No! I didn't get the luck in time. I'm gonna die now. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> okay, so don't do this. This is, I think, a bad build, in my opinion. At least a lot of things are better than it. So this is, I, I think, the best I'm gonna do with this. I'm not gonna try this again. I should have gotten a second Glowing Crown, to be honest. I made a mistake somewhere along the road. I think you should go for Glowing Crown with this. Maybe two or three Glowing Crowns and go maybe more into the mana idea. Not really that much into the spikes idea. A bit sad that the Gin Lamp never fired to give this thing 60 damage, but it wouldn't really change anything. 27 damage, that is. Uh, we did 353 damage. They did 440 and another 440. They were just two Fortuna's Grace build. So, realize this. Two Fortuna's Grace. Okay, two Fortuna's Grace. Is more. And also a bunch of luck, which you gain for free if you have the Mega Clover. So, literally just two Fortuna's Grace. Ah, oh, they had two Corrupted Crystals. That's what killed us. At the late game, at least. Right? Yeah, in general, I think that killed us. Because I had low life for a long while here. And they were doing a lot of damage to us. And then I till I healed back, back up. No, this was going very decent. Until this thing happened. Double crit us for 37 twice, from 70 down to nothingness, and then from 170 down to 81, and then down to death mode here. 10 life is not going to be enough, and we just got melted. This was a double crit, by the way, so we, we were not minus 31, we were minus 80. They, they only had time to fire once, they, they were doing double crits all the time. So, yeah, we lost, it is what it is, let's see how much the game punishes you if you lose your lives in Endless. 16. Okay, I mean, from 44 to 16, that's a nice amount. Silver here. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a good build, but I wouldn't also say that I min-maxed it to the best of my ability. I just wanted to try the potion version of that. I don't think the potion version is the way to go. I think you should go some kind of mana version or whatnot. Or maybe even go with, um, what is it called? The Staff of Unhealing. Actually, healing just, just this. Yeah, this one. This one. The Staff of Unhealing. Every two seconds, heal for 12. Uh, use 6 mana, uh, and for 2 seconds healing also damage the opponent. That would be good. And also, I want to mention something too. This is very, very, very unlucky. Very unlucky. But how unlucky is it that I never found this thing? Okay, because I was literally betting everything on the Vaping Potion. Both characters drop below 80% health, consume this and gain 1 Vampirism and steal 8 life. And the upgrade of that, which would fire multiple times by the way, both characters drop below 80% health, consume this and gain 2 vampirism and 10% lifesteal for 5 seconds. Now imagine if I had 3 of these and they were chained to each other, right? It would have been 2 plus 2, 4 and then 2 plus 2, 4, that's uh, 8 and another, that would be 10 vampirism and about 50% lifesteal. I mean, depending on how I would have these lined up, they might have even been more or less, but still imagine 50% lifesteal and 10 Vampirism on a 50 damage weapon, that would be every hit of ours would be healing us 25 damage plus another 10 flat. So, um, if not more, of course. So a bit unlucky that we didn't find uh, the main potion of the build that I was going for. I did find the second main potion of the build, which was the Stone, stone Skin, but still, uh, it's a bit unlucky. Also maybe a bit lucky just to showcase that this is a very lackluster build you need to get some things to align otherwise you don't do anything now if you agree disagree or think that i didn't play this correctly come down below and tell me about it so we maybe have an opinion going so that we understand who is wrong and who is right and i don't know do it thanks for watching and see you guys around